Never let anyone or anything define your value or limit your dream. And I swear I go too hard for my squad. Two turn. I'm I'm the straight savage. I'm on hood. Banging hard. Banging hard. Hey blood, come on, let's go. We're ready. Are we going to the mall again, fam? Nah, blood. We gotta go ride on a couple of a couple of ops. We gotta go ride. What you mean? Like they coming too? Nah, blood. We got some business we gotta take care of. Some business. Yeah. Ma'am, can you explain, please? Blood, you got your strap on you. My strap? You mean Velcro? Because I don't wear them shoes no more, fam. I ain't wore those since about pre-K. Blood, this serious. Oh, you mean you shoot somebody? Yeah. Oh, no. No. What you mean? Oh, no. I'm, I'm sick. Straight up sick. I swear. Sick. You talking about shooting somebody? You know that's 25 to life? Blood, I don't care. You don't care? You don't care? When them niggas in jail bending you over, you don't care then? Ain't nobody gonna be bending me over. Blood, let's go. No, nah, you can You're do that yourself. Time. Wasting time. I'm gonna waste time in jail worrying about you, trying to look out for you. What about me? You gonna take a bullet for me? No, exactly. You're trying to get me to shoot somebody. I don't even know what he did. The way he do. Exactly. You don't even know. Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more amazing, entertaining, delightful, great disciple content. Tell me where the freaks at. Hold up. Taken? Why did you leave that in the apartment? He stole the money. Look, dummy, I don't have to steal. A scabies outbreak and a theft in her home has a dancer just itching to get paid. Exotic dancer Beatrice Miller is suing her landlord for stolen cash and scabies medication. Defendant Frederick Bullock says there's never been a scabies problem in any of his units. Now it's Joe time. Let's see. Miss Miller, you are alleging that your landlord, Mr. Bullock, stole $2,500 in cash, and you say you and your children were apparently infected with some sort of skin disease from the apartment you occupied, and the defense is just you've been an honorable man, you're a retired veteran, you are a retired senior citizen who is running uh, one of uh, his investments, which is uh, rental property, and this is a total fabrication. And you've never had any such problems in any of your units, uh, right? Yes, sir. No, no. Okay. Now, Miss Miller, you have the burden of proof. Um, I moved in Mr. Bullock House November the 9th. Well, I signed my lease. I found a place with him. Um, I was riding around the whole day looking for somewhere to live. You I, and your witness, Mr. Wilson? No, this was me by myself at the time. I was riding around trying to find somewhere to live at the time. Um, so, so in Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. Think, is that right? Yeah, in Raleigh. So I went up there. He stays under the property that I was looking at. So I called his cell phone, asking him, can I live, see the property? So he came out his home. So um, he just walked me upstairs or whatever. He was already fixing on a, a place. So he let me see the place that was already empty that he was fixing on. So we went in there. I seen the, um, the three bedroom. It's a three bedroom. I have a two bedroom. So he asked, I asked him, when can I move in? He told me as soon as I have his money. Now I'm a dancer. So at the time, I'm looking for a place bad. I had just, I worked two um, clubs. I worked at one club starting like eight o'clock. Then the next club, I leave there like 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. Very enterprising. So when I um, left Working there... until 9 o'clock in the morning. I was open all night. Yeah, it's an after-hour club. Mm -hmm. So I left there. When I'm looking for my um, place, I, that's when I seen him that day. He asked me what did I do. I told him I was a dancer. I had my money bag with me because I had just left the club. Money bag? Yeah. When you dance, you what have... What are you calling a money bag? It's a Cavassier bag. It's a purple Cavassier bag. I don't know what a Cavassier bag is. Are you talking about the spirit, the alcohol? Yeah. How quaint. 
Mm. So I signed my lease. I did. I gave him his money right then and there because I had all the money on me. How much so, did you say you had? Um, I had three thousand and some change on me at that time. Three thousand in cash. Yes, I did. So I signed my lease with him. I gave him his money. He, we did our lease, which is this right here. What was it you paid for the lease? A thousand dollars. What'd you do with the balance of the money? The rest of the money that I had left over from mm -hmm. paying the rent, I kept it. I was supposed to got my lights cut on. I was supposed to got the furniture you for the place. You kept it. Yes. All right. Now you say you and your boyfriend decided to leave. Mm -hmm. That's after we had put the stuff in the house, the All paint. Right. Now, are you stuff going like to get your lights turned on? No, you can't get the lights turned on to the next day. Next day. Well, what were you going to do the rest of that day? Well, I went and got the paint. I got the rollers. I got all the stuff to try to put into the place. Okay. Now, you say that his daughter is responsible for letting somebody in the house to take the money out of what the purple cavassier bag yes why did you leave that in the apartment as you leave because i wouldn't need to take all the whole three thousand dollars out with me to go buy, well, buy some three thousand four hundred you paid him a thousand mm -hmm. that so leaves twenty four hundred so how do you get twenty five hundred taken out of the place and why is it you don't take any of it to go handle the paint, etc., and then the that next money. day? Oh, you had credit card. No, I don't have checkbook? a credit card. I don't have a credit card. I don't have a checkbook, but I didn't need that 2500 Well, how are you going to buy the paint and the rollers That's and everything with no for. money? That's what I have extra money for. The 2500 was extra for my money. life. See, now, you have 2500 in cash on you. Your boyfriend uh, and also you, you characterize it as your savings. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mean to tell me there's a bank that wouldn't take 3500 in cash? I just made that money. So you had the night's earnings of $3,400 yeah. $3, and you <laughs> carry it around yeah. in a cognac bag. Were you with her? Yes, at that point. Well, why didn't you put the money in your pocket? Because you don't walk around with a lot of cash like that. And that's one of the purpose why well, we got the house. Well, but you leave so it in this there. apartment it, like once he, that. Once he gave us the key, place. once he gave us the key, it, was, it shouldn't have been no point of why, why, what I left in the house. He gave Where the you house live key. has a massive problem with burglaries. No. Yeah, it does. You're in North Carolina and Raleigh. You but, got a burglary problem in your area. It's well, I a never red line been, area it's, it's almost because of the burglary. With a key. So it's a, key. a problem there. It's so you're going to leave 3500 Prove to me you got the money. Somebody had to come in there with a key. Well, so how did you get the money? I danced. You got any statement from the employer about that that they're supposed to give you for your W-2 so you can file your taxes? I get paid the cash every night. So you don't have any proof? No, I do not. Why should I, why should I have All right, now you say after you live there for some months and he's never heard of the uh, alleged theft, you yeah, now want to say what? that he's responsible for you and your children coming down with skating. With the furniture that he left in the house. So you have 2500 cash stolen. Also, you had $135 worth of other goods stolen. Uh, not including you the had, medical had uh, not including some the medical other bills items that we just you attest for $200. That's not even not including, including the medical, the medical bills, bills that we got. just received. We're still receiving. Okay. Uh, may I see a doctor's uh, report, please? That's all of it. The scabies. Okay. And the bills. You got that stables and somewhere else. You got that stables and rabies and all that stuff. I asked you, I called your house. I called your cell phone and asked you, did you have any bed bugs? And you said what? Yes. Didn't you We're bring me some bed bugs? Bed 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Right. We'll be right back with. We're not talking about bed bugs. Oh, I know. We're talking I about him, mites. Excuse me, sir. I asked him what was it that was biting us at first. We thought it was scabies. You can see we, it took us like three or four times to go to the hospital to figure out exactly what Because at first they said it was a skin rash. Then we asked, I asked, was it um, scabies? That's when it was scabies, That's sir. And it comes from what? It comes from what? It comes from dogs, right? Yeah, you've been sleeping too many dogs. And what did you have to do? What did he have to do before I moved in? You evicted, right?
That's not where it comes from. From dog. That's been changed. Yeah, that's not where it comes from. That's where it comes from. That's not where from. That's not where it comes 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 from. That's not where it Okay, well, we have papers that say where you get scabies from and how can you get scabies and everything else. That has nothing to do with me. Okay. That's just okay. you. You okay. got scabies from okay. all them dogs you've been sleeping okay. with. All the scabies and rabies. I, 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 I knew you was going to say that. I knew you was going to say that. That's why sleep I did with. my search. Your search. Uh huh. And he has that in his hands. So, therefore, you, we will listen to what he has to say and what the doctor has to say. Did you read scabies. this? Did you read she this? She can't read. Mm -hmm. Did you read this? After treatment, the mites will no longer be in your skin, but you may continue to have itching for one or two weeks. Now, mm -hmm. all other people who live in the same house, whether or not they are currently having a rash, require treatment. Mm -hmm. It can be contagious amongst humans. Yes. With like, if I was to touch him, if from when we first moved in the house and from it being fumigated from the pets and stuff was in there, that's how we got it's it. It's not from the pets. The part is, is it can be transmitted from, between from human to humans. Human, from human to human. When yes. we moved now, in the house. Uh, did you come in contact with the dogs? No. We had just moved Anybody in with the dogs. Anybody else in your proof have the problem before that? I'm not sure. Now, your proof doesn't exclude uh, receiving the mites from contact with other people. Now, you just moved. Just, and you also said, did you not, uh, that immediately prior to the move, you spent your money on motel accommodations. Now, in your complaint, amongst other things, you have to list an itemization of where you think your damages are coming from. Now, I find this very strange. You note very carefully what got allegedly stolen from you That's on my the black bag. day in question. Now, you have an itemization $200. That's supposed to be for scabies medicine, pain and suffering, etc. You have a $2,500 itemization for cash savings stolen. My but I find this interesting. There's a third itemization value of goods stolen and scabies medicine how are you going to catch all, it there do, when you got it stolen allegedly with there. your goods and medicine on your goods oh, and I money on the same day you that's, moved in see that's a slip but let me okay so i will go back now i moved into his place november the night when did you go to the doctor i went to the doctor on i have your report I, the first time I went to the doctor. You went to the doctor a couple times. Where did you, you go for this problem? The first the time, time I went to the doctor was on the le the eleventh um the eleventh twenty or something. I went to Rex Hospital. Eleven twenty. Eleven? No, it was. No, yes, it was. It was, it was in November. If you got the mite infestation from the furniture, considering the incubation period, and when the problem would show up, you wouldn't go. June, July, August, September, times, October, sir. November to go. I went to the doctor three times. I went to the doctor November the first time to see what it was in the house. The what was on my skin, sir. That's uh, they told me it was a rash. That's when we didn't uh, tell what it was, and he had. But you didn't I have any symptomology. Did, I asked him, did he have bed bugs in the house? Because he gave us chairs, right? Am I correct? Am I correct? <laughs> This man gave me some chairs in my house. Am I correct? You, he gave me furniture. Good line. You, you know, a line. You, know he gave where, me furniture. you know where this usually comes from, along with since you talk about the bed bug problems. Uh, yeah. They had a big scandal in New York. Yeah. Some of the best yeah. hotels I don't live in had the North bed Carolina. bug yeah. problem. Yeah. You I get it mites from the yeah. motels and the hotels. Yeah. And I that's how you bring it home with you. Your Honor. We first started the initial suit was because he stole the money. And the reason why we started the suit... He stole the money? Yeah, he stole the he, money. His, his he had to steal it. the money. How, how he you going to come back and, our and, and change our lives the next to, day? The next day, he's going to come back and change uh, our lives. Did you come back or not and change the lives? Seven years ago. That's why and you the first they were called Mill Steelers. Okay, stay quiet. Hold on, sir. You have the floor. What do you have to say about it? You, sir. I'm I'm seven years old. And neither the first that ever Quiet. called me. Don't interrupt. Don't interrupt. I don't have to steal. 
And you just lie. Well, you, mean, you let somebody else get the key sir? to get in the apartment? You accuse me of stealing. Go sue them. Get new tenants. You change locks. And there you go. That's the Why only you reason. You steal their money? After, why did you change the locks after we moved in? Look, dummy. I'll be a dummy. I'll be a dummy. I'll be a dummy. Answer this question. Why did you change the locks when after we moved in? Because you just moved in. You this showed up riding down, down the street. You saw the bloody dog on the side and you called the cell phone. Can I look at it now? We'll be back with more Judge Joe Brown in a moment. Now, did you take their money? I did not take their money. In fact, no money was taken. These just lying. You're upset. I mean, you know, so what was they didn't have to be so many say quiet, nothing about nothing quiet, being lost sir. until after I changed the lock. And they've been there all morning, and after I changed, oh, wait, now we can get paid for this. That's, he didn't change the so lock. Why, why, why did you come up here changing the locks? Hold on, hold, who in their right mind? What does that got to do with anything? That's right? what you're talking about is people who really don't have a leg to stand on. Why would I do this, or why would he do that? And by the way, uh... Why are you claiming the money was part yours, sir? We're together. You and your <laughs> We're together. state. So, so, so here so, that I have, you're claiming our money, your money. You're not married to us. So how did it become your money? When this She's came the on one my head, stripping, are you? When this came on my head, it became everything became ours. When this ring became here, it became ours. It's no just one. We're not one. We're, it's two. <laughs> Your Honor, Your Honor. They don't know, do they? Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor. All right, now he's upset because, as he says, first time in life anybody's called him a thief. I that is a great thing, so. He, this is not the first time he had problems with his tenants. The same the, the, the people that was moved in beside the people that was, I don't. Oh, uh, please, 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 That's what it means Mr. to be a problem. Please, your please. tenant, your problem. The people that live beside and us having Shana, the same problem. Now, if, this if, guy if sent you write, you sending me threatening letters. If you're so seventy and old and all that, why are you threatening me? Please tell me that. Why are you sending me threatening letters? <laughs> Yeah, all you can do is turn your back. That's all you can do. May I That's see the threat letter? Let, let, let me see the threat letter. There you go. And hold on, hold on. Let me show you my lease. Yeah, let me see this is my lease to match his handwriting. Now, please tell me, if you're so 70, you're so old, why are you doing all this? Huh? I'm dealing with problems like you. But you old. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be in the house, you, you, watching, you, 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 no, no, watching this show. That's what you should be doing. You walk in, la da da. He's never had a problem in his life, and what he does for a side thing now in retirement is take care of people's money. So you're accusing him of stealing some little chump change that you've got in a Cavassier purple drawstring bag. Listen, Your Honor, stay quiet. No way, and you don't prove the other case because it's speculative. And amongst other things, you stayed in a numerous hotels no, and motels I I immediately in before hotels. this, and it's within the period of time when the problem might manifest, and then I it can be passed. I never stayed in numerous person. hotels, Your Honor. I'm not letting you do this. Excuse me, Your Honor. First of all, I never said he was old. He said he's old. So I said, so therefore I said. Denied. This courtroom is now in recess. Go ahead and exit. I have a Rabies, scabies, ticks, fleas, now we all need a hot water treatment. And in order to prevent the further spreading of falsehoods, these claims are denied. We'll be right back.